Hi, Samantha here from DC Metro Maternity talking to you about the APGAR score, which you might hear called your baby's first test. So the APGAR score stands for two things. Um, the first is that APGAR is the last name of Virginia APGAR, a doctor, and she actually created this really revolutionary way to see how babies are doing shortly after birth and in the first few minutes of life on the outside, outside of your womb, that is. Um, most of the time it's done inside in the hospital or birth center, maybe your house. Okay, now that that's covered, um, yeah. Not only is Epgar the name of the woman who invented this test, but it's also an acronym that stands for Appearance, Pulse, Grimace, Activity, and Respiration. Um, so appearance is just what your baby looks like. Um, it should appear that the child has good blood flow and is nice and pink. Um, even those of us who have more melanin, our babies, you know, should come out like looking vivacious. Um, pulse, of course, stands for your baby's heart rate and they check that. Um, grimace is about how reactive your baby is. So we expect babies to be crying um, or like grimacing. <laughs> um, and then the A for activity is about how much your baby is moving. We like wriggly, wiggly babies. Um, and then respiration is whether they're breathing. They should do that now. Um, yeah, now that they're meeting air for the first time. The APGAR is on a scale of one to 10. Uh, most babies don't get a 10. The joke that I've heard in the hospital is that only OBs and pediatricians babies get 10s. Um, but the reality is that most healthy babies get nines because their hands and feet are blue. Newborns don't have great circulation. Um, yeah, so that's perfectly normal, but the rest of their body should not be blue. That's not a thing that we expect to see. Um, the APGAR is done at one minute and five minutes. Um, and if those scores are low, then potentially it's also done at 10 minutes after birth. Um, we expect to see a score of seven or above. You can always ask about this if you don't hear. Um, but generally speaking, if your baby is healthy and is able to stay on your body, skin to skin, chest to chest, um, and nice and cuddly under all of those blankets, then you can rest assured that like everything is fine. Um, yeah, so that is your little bit of information for the day when we're talking about the early, super duper early, because we're talking about the first 10 minutes, uh, postpartum period. If you would like to know more about birth or pregnancy or the postpartum period, then stay tuned to our YouTube channel and also visit us at dcmetromaternity.com. Um, check out the links below and we'll look forward to hearing from you.